Okay guys, today we're going to fix uh, an outdoor faucet that uh, doesn't have a lot of pressure. Um, I know it's something to do with this faucet itself just because uh, all the other faucets inside and out back work just fine. Um, this one is a Woodford Model 101. So first step to this process is to turn off the water to the house. So I'll show you where that's at. Okay guys, here here we are at the shutoff valve for my house. Um, this one's in my garage next to my water heater. Um, I believe that's how most of the homes are now. Um, you'll just have to check in your garage to see if that's the same for you, but we're just gonna shut the valve off. And then next we're gonna just uh, run the water pressure out. Okay, next we're just going to open up the water and just run all the water pressure out so we can take the valve apart. Okay guys, so we ran all the water pressure out, um, so now it's time to disassemble the faucet. Um, just Here's a, the kit I got, um, this is for the this, uh, this model of a faucet, um, and I got uh, some tools, I got a channel lock, screwdriver, and a crescent wrench. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by uh, taking the handle off. And there's just a, a bronze screw in the center. You want to get that? Just gonna unscrew that all the way. Try to pull it off. This one's a little, a little tight. I'm going to replace this handle anyway, so... Okay, next guys, we're going to remove the packing nut. And uh, on this one it says left hand, which means it's just uh, left hand threads, which you turn it clockwise to loosen it or take it off. So normally you're going to go uh, counterclockwise, but... And if you're not sure, just just kind of, it shouldn't be that tight. Just just go ahead and check it. If it feels like it's tight, go the other way and see if it starts coming out. And I'm, I'm pretty sure these are pretty similar on different models, but you'll just have to look it up on yours. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of 
pull this screw out, pull the packing nut out. And then it should be able to lightly pull out. You probably take your handle and just kind of start twisting it. There it goes. And there it is. It looks like uh, the little ends off in there, so I'll have to fish that out. Okay, guys. So there's supposed to be a little rubber tip on here. Is the a screw holding it on? And I can see it's stuck in there. It's not supposed to be by itself inside. So I'm just gonna get a pick and just try to hopefully get it out of there. <laughs> I just gotta get the screw out of there. Well, I found the problem, you guys. Um, pretty much this uh, seal on the end wasn't screwed in, so so this is how the this is how the valve looks. This would be screwed in to the end right here. And then this is the packing nut. And it just holds up against the seal and then this would be where your handle is. So so this uh, seal right here is what would adjust to let the water out. Um, and that was just loose in there. I ended up having to turn the water on just to blow that out because I couldn't get it out really. So you probably just get it out with some needle nose or, or same method as I used. So next step is uh, we're just gonna, I'm gonna replace all these seals and uh, and this would be kind of the same process if you had a water leak too, so just uh, follow along. Okay guys, we're just going to replace all these pieces. Um, so I took this uh, this packing, wa uh, packing seal out, um, then there's a washer behind it, and then you have this, uh, this plastic seal here. Um, I'm just going to, that just pulls right off. And then you got this other uh, this other cup. This one I might have to pry off the screwdriver. I'm just gonna get the new pieces. Push this one on first. And then this kit uh, came with this new uh, plastic piece, but it looks a little different. So this is the new one. This is the original, so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be on, but this one looks okay, so I'm just going to put it back on. Just put it on like that. And it comes with that new uh, new seal for the end, and a new screw. And this, I believe, it, you just gotta slightly snug it. I don't think it needs to be super tight. And that's just it. And it comes with a new washer. And then, of course, the the packing nut, and I, I think it doesn't matter which way this goes. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, put it back together. Okay guys, we're just going to 
push the whole assembly in and it's probably a good idea just to kind of lubricate the seals with the uh, with some water and then remember this is a reverse threads And then on this packing nut, you don't need to uh, tighten it very tight. You just want it snug. I think if you just do it too tight, it's going to be hard to turn it. I think that's about it. So now I'm just gonna, it comes with a new handle, so I'm just gonna put that on, get a screw and put that in. Okay guys, that's it. Um, if you have a leaky faucet or you have low pressure, um, good thing, just go ahead, take your valve apart, just make sure you turn your water off first, and uh, let's, I'm gonna turn the water back on and try it out and see how it works. Okay guys, water's turned back on. Uh, I'm just gonna inspect for leaks. Everything looks good. Uh, let's try it out. Big difference from before. So I hope I turn that back up. I hope that I helped you guys out. Um, please like, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.